Okay, let's see the top ten feature films. Cars 2. Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Despicable Me. We stole the Statue of Liberty. The small one from Las Vegas. Oh. Romeo and Juliet. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 2. Kung Fu Panda 2. Did you see that? I just was like, what? Hi! Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Here's the jack I know. Tangle. Transformers, Dark of the Moon. And the winner is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It's, uh, it's a huge honour, just as one of the actors from, uh, from these films to be up here and to receive this on behalf of what is quite an amazing production team, um, starting with J.K. Rowling, of course, who created the material, uh, through to the fabulous producers, David Yates, uh, the director, uh, and then the producers, uh, David Barron and David Heyman, uh, and then the, the amazing cast that consisted of everyone in British acting, and by the, the end of the eighth film, we ran out of British actors. So we couldn't have made any more anyway. Um, and also to the fans, thank you for supporting the films through the past 10 years uh, and onwards. Thank you very much. I'm here with Warwick Davis, who is representing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which has just won the Kids Vote for Feature Film. Warwick, how are you feeling? It's amazing. I mean, I'm hugely honoured. And, and what makes it more special is that this is actually voted for by the kids who watch the film. So it actually means more. And how long does it take to put a film like this together? I mean, did you do both parts at the same time? Yeah, we shot Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 together, and it was about two and a half years, I suppose. I mean, it was, it was actually slightly confusing at times which part you were doing. It was, it was the most huge movie you could ever imagine trying to, trying to put together. But, uh, I mean, I think the results speak for themselves. It's terrific. And is it important to uh, make a movie like this appeal to the whole family? Well, yeah, I, th I don't think there are enough films uh, that, that appeal to the whole family. I've got children of 8 and 14, and uh, we sit down to watch a film, and you'd be surprised at the, the sort of limited choice that there is of, of a film that will appeal to everybody. So, will we'll please me and, and them, but Harry Potter certainly does fit into that category very nicely. Listen, very well done. Keep thank doing the good work that you're doing, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Nice.